Hello, hello. Welcome to Roar of a Store Ministries, where we talk about the reconciliation, restoration, and resurrection power of Yeshua. I'm Tammy Lynn, and I'm so honored to have this opportunity to be a vessel used by God to speak into your life, to empower and encourage you to continue running your race, fighting that good fight of faith, and finishing strong in Jesus' name. Family, I'm here with the Roar of a Store for Kingdom Marriages and Families. I'm here with a roar of restore for the prodigals. The Lion of Judah is roaring restore. He's roaring restore over you, your marriage, your family, and that one that you have been praying for, that one that you have been waiting for, that one that you are even struggling at this point uh, to believe that you're actually going to see their face again. But I'm here to tell you that the Lord says you will see their face again. They are returning to you because he is bringing them back to you just as he promised you glory hallelujah he says to take a firm grip on that promise that he made you because he is faithful and he is going to keep his word to you hebrews 10 23 keep a firm grip on the promise because god is faithful he is a promise maker and he is a promise keeper glory hallelujah and he wants you to know that that one that you have been praying for that one that he made a promise that he was going to restore back to you after he restored them back to him he wants you to know that they are being rescued in this hour glory hallelujah i have been hearing for several days now in my spirit the hour has come this message that i'm delivering Delivering began to stir in my spirit last week as I was having my coffee with Jesus out on my back patio and I looked up and I saw a male red bird flying and behind him was a crow the crow was chasing the male red bird behind the crow was a dove the dove was going after both of them immediately the Holy Spirit began to speak to me about prodigals the Lord has decreed that 2023 is a year of repentance he has also decreed that it was a year with massive conversions that prodigals was returning back to him they were coming back home and they were going through conversions and actually it was radical conversions that they would be going through well the hour has come that that one that you have been praying for has come to their end glory hallelujah so he began to show me through that red bird who represented a prodigal someone who was on the run someone who ran away from him someone who was living outside of his will and living in disobedience but this one has come to the end of themselves and they can no longer stand living in the mess that they have created they can no longer stand living in the pig pen that they themselves through the power of their own choices landed themselves in glory hallelujah and he says they can no longer stand living not only outside of his will but apart from you the one that they originally because they believed the lie of the enemy they thought they were going to be better off over there without you but they realized that over there without you there there is no abundant life there is no peace there is no joy so they have come to their end and they can't stand the pig pen any longer the lord was speaking to me how the enemy has been after these ones we've been knowing this the enemy was after them he got a hold of them they took his bait and that's why that they, they went outside of god's will that's why they walked away from you that's why they um, hurt you that's why they uh, betrayed you abandoned you cheated on you filed a divorce uh, on you got a divorce from you that is why all of that was happening in the first place because the enemy had been after them and the enemy had taken a hold of them but the lord says they are now running from the enemy they are now on the run from the mess that they have created from the life apart from god that they have created from a life from a life 
apart from you that they have created. They are now trying to get away from it. The enemy is still after them, but God has made a decree to let his people go. And he wants you to know that he has gone after them and that he is going to rescue them and that you are getting ready because he says the hour has come that you are getting ready to see a sudden defeat over the enemy and a sudden victory in your marriage and in your home glory hallelujah thank you father god and he's wanting to speak to you out of the story with the prodigal son because the prodigal son had the power of choice he made the choice to take his uh, inheritance and leave his father's house he made the choice to go over and live outside his father's house to live outside of god's best for him he made the choice and we see where the power of his choices the power of the plans that he had in his own heart, but yet the Lord directed his steps because we see that his choices led him to a pig pen. But we also can see supernaturally behind the scenes how the Lord was directing his steps. The Lord did not force him in the pig pen. The Lord did not force him to leave his father's house. The Lord did not force them to leave you. The Lord never told them to leave you. The Lord never told them to file a divorce on you. The Lord never told them to divorce you. The Lord never told them that somebody else was their kingdom spouse while they were married to you. You. The Lord never said that to them. So he never forced them. He never forced them out of the house. He never forced them over there in that living, that, that lifestyle that they have uh, been living. He never uh, was in the blueprints that they had developed for their own selves. That was them. They planned something in their heart, but the Lord used their plans to help them along so that ultimately they would come to their wits end so ultimately they would come to a place called the pig pen and we see this with the prodigal son we see that the lord did not force him there but we see that the lord used the power of his choices the one who was naive the one who was operating in pride and rebellion and ignorance that the lord used his choices to bring him to this place in the pig pen. And in this place in the pig pen, we see where he was sitting there by himself. There was no one else around ministering to him. That it was just he himself in that pig pen. And he began to have a conversation with himself, telling himself that he was better off over there in his father's house. That even the workers of his father had it better off than what he did. We see where a Zachari uh, a Zachariah 4 6 was in operation the Lord has been decreeing not by might nor by power but by his spirit that he was going to get a hold of these prodigals that he himself was going to be putting a new heart within these prodigals a new spirit within these prodigals Ezekiel 36 26 so the Lord has been very consistent talking about what he was going to do and that the only thing he needed from you was to sit down be still know that he was God and to watch out for his salvation well I'm here to tell you in the name of Jesus that the hour has come that you are going to see the salvation of the Lord in your home in your marriage and in your family because he has gone after the enemy and he has gone after that one that he loves the most that one that you love he is rescuing them from the hands of the enemy he is rescuing them out of the pit that they got themselves into out of the pig pen that they got themselves into out of the mess that they got themselves into he is rescuing them and he is bringing them back to you glory hallelujah and as they come back to you, you will hear them say, it is good to be back with you. It is good to be home. Glory, hallelujah. And I got an affirmation on that because the other day I'd gone into the store and I was walking down an aisle on my way to go get some laundry soap. And I looked over and there was a section with some home decor. And I, I looked and something just really caught my eyes. It was like a little canvas that you can either hang on the wall or just set it on your table. And on the canvas, it says, 
It feels good to be home. I took a few more steps, but the Holy Spirit arrested me and I had to take a few steps back. I did a back it up, back it up, back it up because uh, he had something that he was wanting to speak to me. I looked back over at that canvas and I knew that I heard that somewhere before. I knew that he was speaking this again and it was in regards to the prodigals, in regards to the ones that you are praying for and that you are waiting for them to come back home. And as I stood there looking at this home decor item that said it feels good to be back home, knowing in my spirit that the Holy Spirit is speaking, he then took me back to December where my eight-year-old at the time had a supernatural encounter with the Lord in my car in the back seat. She began to say that something was happening to her, that she was feeling warm all over her body that she was just feeling th this this happiness within her and that she was hearing it feels good to be back with you she didn't understand what was happening because something like that never happened to her before she didn't know why she was hearing that but I did and I told her I remember telling her baby girl the Lord is wanting you to hear that to tell me that because he is talking about his people and he is wanting me to tell that to his people well tell i did i released the message that the lord had given uh me through my eight-year-old to tell you all that they were going to say it feels good to be back with you so this canvas uh decor that i saw was an affirmation on that and again the lord wants you to know this day is coming this hour is coming for you glory hallelujah this hour that you have waited a long long time for this hour that is coming that you have begun to struggle um, to believe if truly you are going to see their face again but again the Lord says hold on have a firm grip on that promise and do not let go now because you are going to see his faithfulness glory hallelujah and then he took me to Genesis uh, 48 verse 11 out of the message Bible I have some words to deliver out of Genesis and regarding the story of Joseph uh, for you kingdom standards for those of you who you're standing for the restoration of your marriage of your family for those of you who have gone through a ripping um, but the Lord says the ripping was a setup for a reaping so I just gave you an insight on another message that is going to be coming but as I've been in Genesis he highlighted Genesis 48 verse 11 out of the message Bible pertaining to this message right here this message about the prodigal who has come to their end who now wants to be delivered from the enemy who now wants to be delivered from the powers of darkness who now wants to be rescued by the Lord uh, himself and that one that has been away from you for a time but yet is coming back to you by the very Spirit of God just as God has promised and this time it will be forever just as the Lord has been speaking to you um, through uh, about through uh, Philmon this time it is forever and this time they are going to be of good use uh, to you and you are even going to be of greater use to them because you both have gone through a restoration you both have been restored back to the father in the midst of this crisis the very thing that the enemy thought was going to be the end of you the end of your marriage was the very thing that the Lord was going to use uh, to set up to give you a new beginning to do it again in your life a, a renewal of your vows in your life a redo uh, in your life glory hallelujah but this time when they return they may look the same but they're not going to be the same because when God restores he restores it far better than what it was ever before so let's go take a look at Genesis 48 11 this is Joseph's uh, father uh, speaking he says, I never expected to see your face again. And now God has let me see your children as well. See, he never expected to see his son's face again. His son who was ripped from him. 
Okay, but yet we see after a ripping, we also see a reaping and we see the the reaping consisting of a restoration, a restoration testimony that today is still helping you and I overcome because that is the power of our testimonies. Glory, hallelujah. So he never expected to see the face of the one that was ripped from him ever again, but he did see his face again. And this is before his death. So again, the Lord says, you will not leave this world without seeing that which he has promised you come into fruition. He says, you will see them again because he himself by his spirit is bringing them back to you. Glory, hallelujah. He has rescued you. He is now rescuing them and he's doing it now. And he's saying that hour has come now and, and the reason why now he's going to rescue them is because they're having that moment like that prodigal son did when he landed himself in that pig pen that he himself on his own with no one else telling him he realized that he was wrong he was he realized that he had it better off in his father's house and that he never should have left so they have come to that place because he is a gentle God. He is not going to force us, but also love does not give up. Love does pursue. So I know many of you have heard others tell you, well, God's not going to force them. Well, they just made up their mind. Well, there's nothing you can do about it. Well, there is a lot that you can do about it because Luke 10, 19 says, God has given you the power and the authority to do something about it. So do something about it is what you have done. You took a stand. You sought uh, the Lord. You inquired of the Lord, just like David did when David had had returned to Ziglag to find his family gone, to find his wife gone, to find his children gone, to find life as he knew it gone, to find that the ones he loved the most was ripped from him. He inquired of the Lord and the Lord told him to pursue and that he was going to recover all. Well, again, and I'm hearing the Lord say, the hour has come for you to recover all all and that is why he needs you to have a firm grip right now on that promise because the enemy is trying to get you to get a grip on something else he's trying to get you to grip on that lie that he's been trying to feed you he's trying to get you to a uh, grip on what that situation, that circumstance is a screaming at you. But the Lord says, do not come into agreement with that, but to remain in agreement with him and to have a firm grip on that promise, because again, he is going to fulfill it. And so we see here, a father is restored to his son that was ripped from him before he took his final breath. But he not only got the son back, he got some grandsons with it as well. Because again, when God restores, he restores it back better than what it ever was before, but it's and some glory, hallelujah. And we see that also again in the story of David, he got it all back and there was nothing missing glory, hallelujah, but there was some additions to his blessing. Get ready to have some additions, uh, in your home glory, hallelujah, because the Lord says not only is he bringing them back by his spirit, because now they have finally arrived at the point of being sick of living in the chaos, living in the pig pen, living in the mess that they have uh, created, glory, hallelujah, but he's bringing them back different than the way they walked out on you. Glory, hallelujah. That's why history won't repeat itself again. Because it was a little boy that walked out on you. But it is going to be a God-fearing man that is going to walk back in on you. Glory, hallelujah. That was a little girl who was broken and insecure and just uh, lost her mind that walked out on you. But it is going to be a God-fearing woman that is going to walk back in on you. Glory, hallelujah. So you're going to get them back, but you're going to get get a better version of them back. Glory, hallelujah. And some of you, you're going to uh, 
get them back. You're going to get back that new version of them, the God-fearing version of them, the, the version in which they have a new heart and a new spirit that the Lord has given them, but also things that they have acquired out yonder while they've been apart from you. You're going to get that too. Glory, hallelujah. So if they went off over yonder and they built um, a, a million dollar home, uh, you're going to get that too. They're going to come back with that and it's going to be yours in the name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. If they started a, a, a business, they're going to come back to you, you know, as that businessman, as that businesswoman, and, and you're going to tap in uh, to that business. You are immediately going to become a business owner yourself. So again, the Lord says they're just not coming back the, the way that they, they were when they left you. No, this is this is an upgrade. Glory, hallelujah. He's saying you're getting an upgrade. Glory, hallelujah. You're getting a better man back. You're getting a better woman back. You're getting back someone who knows who they are in Christ. You're getting back someone who finally came to uh, the end of themselves and humbled themselves before the Lord and called out to the Lord and cried out to the Lord just like you did the moment that they walked out on you, betrayed you, and abandoned you and all of that other stuff they're going to get a taste of crying out to and the same way that the Lord answered you and rescued you he is also going to answer them and rescue them glory hallelujah so family get ready get ready get ready because the Lord says that the hour has come the line of Judah has been roaring restore in the land and the hour has come before for you in the name of Jesus, for you to see the salvation of the Lord in your home. You stood still. You have waited patiently upon the Lord. You have endured. You've endured the ripping. You have gone through it all, but you have made it through it all because the Lord brought you through it all. And now he wants you to know it is your due season to be rewarded. He is going to reward your faith. Glory, hallelujah. So again, just one more time. I'm hearing the Holy Spirit say, because somebody just needs to hear it one more time, you will see their face again because the Lord himself is bringing them back to you. And when they appear before you, just know they have gone through the transformation. Just know that this is real, that this is not just a... A temporary uh, moment it's not going to be something that is going to be short term uh, shortly lived out no this is going to be forever this time and the two of you are going to go forth in the name of Jesus um, building your lives together and building the kingdom of God together glory hallelujah family oh my goodness I'm just so excited for you all the Lord is bringing them back he's rescuing them he is bringing a total defeat to the enemy and um, a sudden defeat to the enemy and a sudden victory you shall see in the name of Jesus because again he says the hour has come and I loved how um, he began to minister those words to me because I didn't realize that it was beginning to come out of me that I didn't know your day or your hour but I know that your day or your hour was coming I began to decree that and say that a lot and just over the last several days I've been hearing him say the hour Hour has come glory hallelujah your hour has come in the name of Jesus so keep that promise firmly gripped hold on to it and expect expect to see God's faithfulness expect to see their face again because that is going to be your portion you will testify of God's restoration power in your marriage and in your family in the name of Yeshua. Glory, hallelujah. Family, continue to stand firm on the word of God. Stay strong in your faith. And I will talk to you all soon. Shalom.